Hello guys. So today we are going to solve this lab which is exploiting XSE to perform SSRF attacks. So let's get started. So this is our lab and this is the given information with formation which is given to us which is that at this IP address there is an EC2 metadata endpoint and this uh, endpoint contains some sensitive data which we want to retrieve to solve this lab. So firstly uh, we need to perform an SSRF attack uh, to do this and we are going to do XSE injection where we are going to put in some payload and this is the standard payload for XSE injection okay so in this place when I click on view details and when I click on check stock as you can see there is a answer which comes over here which says there are 901 units left in the stock now if I turn this interceptors on and I check stocks again then you will see what's happening is that there's an XML request which is going on and this XML request I'll send it to the repeater so that again we can view at it and what is happening so I'll turn the proxy as off for now and in, uh, and in repeater when I'm sending this request you can see this 901 which is the same as this okay so this request checks the stocks which are there and since all of this is going in XML format we can do s inject some payload which is XSE payload and perform some attacks so I'll enter in the payload this is the payload which is here and what this payload does that it tells that wherever it finds this XSC variable it will replace it with the system this thing variable so it will like have this thing over here in that place so how to replace it the variable name should be like see over here so here the variable in XSE should be written as and XSE comma so over here also at this point where the product ID is there rather than 6 I'll replace it with and XSE and, and over here and XSE comma okay so uh, I'll send this request now what this will do is that it will tell the system to perform like attack on this place which is like send a request to this place just an as SSRF so I'll show you an SSRF as well so SSRF will allow you allows an attacker to, uh, to make HTTP request to an arbitrary domain or attackers choosing okay so what is happening in this scenario is that um, this is us this is an attacker we are us and we are able to communicate with server 1 and server 2 has some important files in it the thing is that we cannot access server 2 directly and server 1 thinks that now it's safe because all the files are important files are with server 2 and we cannot access server 2 so the thing is the since server 1 is um, like vulnerable we can do XSE attack and we can retrieve values of server 2 from server 1 so we'll send a request to server 1 telling him to s attack or send a request to server 2 and this is how we'll do it at this place where the IP uh, like where the website is requested we can add the IP of this server 2 and do this attack so firstly let me explain what is happening so firstly let me type some ABC and I'll send this request as you can see it says that there is no one second I'll just zoom in for you guys yeah it says no such file or directory exists so it is searching for a file name as home peter abc but it says no such file or directory exists but now if I type in something valid then let me see what happens then it will show me all the directories and files inside this slash etc place such as this is my termin terminal if I type ls it will give me the name of this is a directory and this is a file so it will give me both it will tell me like now which one do you want so just like that whichever thing I type in here it will provide further inside like now what you want types so what we are going to do is that we are going to put it with this IP address which only this server can access so the only server 1 can access server 2 right so I am sending this request to server 1 and now I'm telling server 1 to access this website this IP so when I send this thing request over there 
just like uh, slash etc i type slash etc and you were able to see all the folders inside just like that when i'm typing in this place this latest is actually a folder name so now i'll see what is inside this folder such as now if i'll go to see the track me now if i'll see ls so it's the folder is empty right now but you can see the what is inside this folder right so it's like i'm going inside a further directory now it says it has another directory in it or another file in it who oh, i don't know it's one is it and i'll go further inside and in metadata it again has something known as iam it could be a file or a directory but let's go inside that as well and then there is again something known as security credentials so let's see let's go inside that as well then finally there is the admin okay now i'll click on this copy this and i'll paste it in here okay and i'll send this okay and we have the access to this secret access key the secret token and so much amazing details so i'll show you what is happening we actually this was a simple um, like stock check where a product id was going in and if you want to more explain like get more understanding of what is happening i'll put a link in the description of the first video which i made on this topic okay so this payload is the xse payload and within this double quotes we type in a uh, name of a file or any place any link or url so if we type the name of a file then it will check inside the system if it type in a website then it will go and to that website it will send a request to the website and get that thing like whatever files it will uh, there it will get that thing so this place 189.254.169.254 was only accessible by server 1 because server 2 doesn't accept response from me and server 2 contains some really sensitive information and we just went like that directory by directory directory by directory to finally retrieve this amazing information and to solve this question i'll just request this in browser and i'll just open this up real quick and i can see the raw data and once you just get this raw data you can just reload the space and you will see the lab has now been solved and you can share this and you can do it i hope you like this video and uh, for the first video about xss xse sorry uh, i've also added this in the description all right and like and subscribe for more videos if you like this and i'll see you next time bye bye